Oh, okay, okay, we're going. We're live. Hello, and welcome to the JDL Week 6 match review. We're nearly at the end of the season. Woo! Woo-hoo! Uh, Yay. so we're actually going to go a little bit differently, uh, in, I guess, order tonight. Uh, and that is, I'm actually going to skip Leah and Evan. And, or actually, no, I'll start with Leah and Evan. I'll just go down the line. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, our first battle tonight is Leah versus Evan. This is Evan's team's debut. Um, I like, I think I said before, I really like, I really vibe with this team. I don't know what your guys' thoughts were. But I think... It looks um, busted. It looks team, busted. Evans. I see it. I see it. It looks busted. Bro, he probably got, like, Hannah and Bushy to help. I think Bushy did help make this team. It, yeah. But, like, I think... He definitely got one like, of them. Coco, Halucha, and Alola and Raichu. I think he's just that trio. Oh, that's... Th yeah, Alola and Raichu, that's Bushy all over it. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. just... It really does. I just <laughs> Bushy with Otapu Coco, Alola and Raichu, and Scizor team. Or, yeah, Mega... Yeah, yeah, I watched that. I watched that. Yeah. Wow. Uh... Did they put their Did, sets? like, Galar Garm? Galar Garm's crazy. Yeah, they did not post their sets. Okay. Is this crazy to say? This might be a hot take. I think that's one. This is one of the better teams in the league. Hmm. Evan's new team. Yes. I don't disagree. That's crazy. Um, you might say that's yeah. crazy, but However, some of these teams I've looked at, I think that team is. Team. I, okay, I never compared down. it to you, Julian. Calm down. I never compared it to or you. Or this team. Calm down. I'm, I I'm never said my co-analyst. I just said. Uh, we have some good teams. We have some good teams. But I do agree. I think this is a pretty strong team. Just that, like, I love that, like, core, that, like, you have, like, you have physical sweeper, special sweeper, uh, either or, and I think that works really well for this team, and then you have, like, revenge killer, hazard control, hazard control, wall, special threat, like, you just have, like, good things built around it that work together, um, and exactly. then there's <laughs> Okay, I didn't see the Raticate. Yeah, I also Maybe I changed team. my mind. I also love it's <laughs> both, it is both Raticates. Hey, at least they know how to spell it correctly. I also I also love the team name. I heart eating shit. Yeah. That's, that's the damn name, yeah. alright. Alright, let's play this shit. Oh, yeah, I guys, love also, pile. There's also the debut of two of Leah's new teammates being Infernape and Delmize, which, on the note, Leah's team is Infernape, King Gambit, um, Clefable, why did I forget the fucking name? Um, Sandy Shocks, Mesprit, and Delmize, and then Evan has Tapu Koko, Darmanit, Galarian Darmanitan, <laughs> Gastrodon, uh, Sui, Typhlosion, Scizor, and Raichu. I do like that, like, of the, of the stuff that he, like, brought over from Saya, like, he brought two of them. But also, it's Terra Ice, Sandy Shocks, and I think Terra Electric Raichu. Uh, Steel Roller's Ooh. a fucking good bring. Like actually Good a bring, really yeah. nice spring. Absolutely. So that's that was Chip. Uh, good. I think oh. this is good Chip. I want to ignore that name from Evan. <laughs> also, I think the non-choice um Suey Typhlosion is also interesting. Uh, quite a powerful pulp even with burn. I mean, I think this thing is like that. I mean, it has like really high. Oh, that's a, that that's a crazy is what you want to do. This should not be on the field. Like, yes, I understand. I agree. The, the thought process: you send it in just for the revenge kill, but at the same yeah. time, you're taking a huge risk. Especially when you okay. know it isn't choice now, and it could have yes. Willow, or you don't know you if it's Willow. That's you had tough. For but you have Infernape in the back, which is probably faster. It We're is faster. We're Sandy Shocks. No, it is faster. Uh -huh. Or it should be faster. Cause three yeah, it should be, but that's what I'm saying. And you, and I don't know if Sandy Shocks is like, it's it's faster it's without. Uh, it is faster. So I understand booster, not going to Sandy but, Shocks. Yeah. And look at Galadarm. <laughs> Bro, that kill. damage? Yeah, Galarian. Galadarm. Like... <laughs> Garm is a Pokemon. Also, also like, I don't know. Should I think be. this might be out a bit early. Uh... Terra Ice is decent. I, I do. Yeah, this is just a fun Mon Gastrodon, one of my favorites. It's so special. Here's the thing. Here. It's so specially bulky. You're not going to break <laughs> through it with Sandy Shocks. You need a drop. You, you need a drop, way. which you're not going to get. And now that you're toxic, you're on a timer. 
you're not like you're not beating this thing. It's crazy because they're stalling out actual recovery turns. They don't have that many left. But it's like, and they still have you five. look at this team, it's going to tank hits from all this stuff anyways. It doesn't need recover for anything else. And now you get a recover for free. Yeah. That's a massive recover. I mean, at least conceptually, I don't think there's anything Sandy Shock does. No. Is this Grass Knot? Is this Grass Knot? I think Grass Knot has to grass come here. Oh. It does get grass knot. It does. Oh, Inferno. I thought you were talking about uh, I, I was mostly re meaning for the rest of the team. Uh, also, the, I mean, good kill at least. But like, oh, uh, you know, like Sand I thought like, I was thinking Sandy Shocks doesn't get grass knot. Uh, I mean, this is bad because like this thing's just dead. I mean, I mean, this <laughs> yeah, bike left. That's crazy. I think this is just this is game. This is game. Sucker like, punch. Go into gas. Yeah, right here. Just, uh, okay, you suck a punch. You get the kill, but like you're gonna, you you can't get through the rest of that team now. That's GG. Yes. Yeah. yeah. On it. Is it MVP Gastrodon? I love Gastrodon. I, I kind of want to say Galadarm. It literally just oh, two yeah. taps yeah. and things. Yeah. The Mass Spirit one, like, we kind of uh, floss over the Mass Spirit one, like, turn, like, three or four, and it just, That's okay, just a with the U-turn. Okay, I agree with Glare and Darm. I can agree with that. I love Gastrodon, too, so I could, I could say that as well. Uh, no, yeah, and so this actually, like, tightens the playoff race because... So, fun fact, I guess we can get into real quick. Uh, the... Oh my god, why do I keep fucking forgetting the name of this? Galar Division. This is Galar, right? Red's Galar. Galar, right? Yeah, Red is Galar. Galar Division. Um, this, t this is like... This could potentially lock two of the playoff slots this week. If if Bacon and, and, and Leah both lose, which we just saw Leah lost, then Lex locks playoffs... Uh, without needing to win. If I win and they both lose, I lock playoffs. This was absolutely a very tight week. And, and then Aurora's just... Aurora's here, but, like, that battle actually doesn't matter. Uh, Aurora can't lock playoffs. Aurora is still technically in the lead, I think. Yeah, because of the win over Saya last week. And, uh, I think he's in, a, like, a really good spot with that one win over them. But, like, it still is a fight for them. They won't know until, like week nine and if they don't start winning i think anyways on to the next battle me versus poke which was actually the first one done that it was, that it was yeah. uh i only have my sets so i get to talk about them uh well first poke has brought val tornadus um or thunderous mega sharpedo rev of room uh gligar and jellicent I have brought Dragapult, Sylveon, Fortress, Kartana, Seismitoad, and Mega a Pidgeot. And let me talk about these sets. I mean, I only really want to talk about two. Uh, I guess we can quickly talk about the Cover Cloak on Cart is for Garg, and Swords Dance, Leaf Blade always kills then, or it's a two hit otherwise. Um, this set, this Seismitoad set, is so it can basically just kill anything really with a one hit. Like, I think Power Whip was for, like, Terragon Jellison, and it just one-shot that. Or was it for... Yeah, it was for Jellison. Uh, that's a Fortress set. And then I want to talk about this Dragapult set. Because my biggest worry on this team was this thing. Iron Valiant. A mod that gives me nightmares. And oh boy. I was really worried about it going like choice scarf and just like out speeding and also and also like mega sharpedo with a speed boost is running away with the game so instead i brought a strategy get rid of the uh get rid of the hazards with fortress let it die and then bring in dragapult dragon dance as they break my sash and then just win because acrobatics always kills and we always outspeed uh val and we'd outspeed plus one Sharpie, though. Mm -hmm. So let's see if dragons watch this. They start off with, uh... With, uh, Rev Room, which is fine. I went for Seismic Toad, and I was like, yeah, let's knock off. HOLY SHIT, THOUGH! Like... Big damage. Yeah, and then we just go, uh... Go to Pidgeot on the burn. Just like, because I was like, yeah, this thing probably takes the burn the best. I was kind of mad it didn't kill. So let me just start stalling out to cover turns as we take slow burn chip. 
Yeah. We sit here for a good bit. Yeah, we're fine for a bit. Because if I'm not mistaken... Frank's tap was crazy. Yeah, I think I did see Tim set and he had nothing... Or no, we saw... The, the last move on here is um, Hex. It cannot hurt Pidgeot. <laughs> Oh, pretty much a stall fast. Yeah. He swaps out the thunderous and one <laughs> percent. Anyways, yeah, I can't stay in on this thing. Uh, I went for ice punch. Uh, that's it. Oh, hello. As we go back into Mega Pidgeot, I'm like, you know what? We can get two hurricanes. It won't thaw it out unless it has scald. And it fucking recovers. <laughs> Never lucky. It's like, you know what? Let's go into Sylveon. Uh, click Heal Bell. We get rid of our burn. As it misses Willow. Then it goes for Willow again. And I click Wish. So that way we can go back into Mega Pidgeot. We take no damage from the hat. That's crazy. And we get healed up to full. So we can do it all over and now again. We're back to square one. What am I watching, bro? So I actually took this chance. So I was like, I was like, you know what? I'll U-turn because like they're going to go for, uh, they're going to go for recover. Um. <laughs> man, man. This sad. This, Relatable. This jealousy's a problem. It is. I'll look at the damage. We can heal like that, that's just the crazy part is like the gelatin can't die, but also we can't do anything. Can't kill, can't die. Uh, they go for shift gear. I'm like, yeah, I kind of expected that. Uh, hello? No, I was not expecting <laughs> to see. Temper Flare! The hell is temper it's for that flare? fortress. It's a fire it's move. It's a fire move that power. if your last move, previous move fails, it doubles in power. Oh shit. So, but it's base 75, so it's better than like Fire Fang and stuff. Um, I'm like, I'm like, this is kind of a free earthquake. It was a free earthquake. Oh. Uh, I was kind of like happy to like let this thing die. Uh, and then I see Energy Ball and then come it out. Lives. Yeah, and that lives. So I'm like, okay, we'll go for Stealth Rocks. Yeah, just oof, get it for free. Yeah. Free rocks. That go away instantly. Because that comes Sharpedo. We go for Knockoff, which can't really hurt this thing. Now, they go. I was like, I was like, I wonder if I live here. Body Press would kill, but then they just, they Mega. What a bitch. And then we die. But the me that mega in there, really good for me. Because now, they can't get more speed boost boosts. Mm -hmm. So now, I know that with plus one, Dragapult... <laughs> yeah. And as we said, that kills. So apparently, Tim thought that Choice Scarf... It was Scarf Valiant, apparently, that it would outspeed Dragapult. But I knew. I knew that my yeah. adamant Dragapult would not be outsped. To be fair, I think he just swaps in, like, Gligar or, like, Revivroom here, and Thunderous doesn't die. And, like, I have to switch Dragapult out because he can't kill this thing. Um, a little surprised that the Thunderous wasn't running T-Wave for an emergency situation like that. I agree. Yeah, also that quick attack on Gligar kind of like caught me off guard. I was like, why? Uh, and yeah, Mega Pidgeot just kind of cleans up two more kills. It actually does something for once. <laughs> uh, I felt a little bit dirty for that. That's MVP poll, right? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Like, I mean, that entire strategy was built around Dragapult, and I think it did exactly when we need to. This fucking Jellison has been putting in work for Poke. Yeah, it, it went crazy in that battle. But like, not just this battle, just but like another battle as well. It's been a really good, just meat wall for him. And I think it's been really, really, really good at that. It's all in the Moose stuff. Yeah. 
I love Jellicent. Great Pokemon. Love using it. Need to use it again at some point. So now, um, with that, as I said, Leah lost. I've won. If Bacon loses, I'm going to skip ahead here to Bacon. If Bacon loses here, Lex and I would lock playoffs. Let me, uh... Okay, they uploaded theirs as images, so let's see. Is Bacon's gonna be way too tiny? Wait, it's normal size for once! Holy Come shit! On. Uh, oh. <sighs> um, okay, I have a comment to make right off the bat. Oh Aqua my tail god, I did not just see that. I did not just. Tell me I don't see what I think I'm seeing. Tell me I don't see what I think I'm seeing. Is it? I, I don't think I see it yet. I don't just look. Is it? Is it the gyro ball? ball? Yeah. Oh, it's more than I just don't. the gyro ball. Yawn. What? What? Why? 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 Uh, Willow with Willow with no. On... Why are you no. yawn with metronome? I, I'm surprised. Why are we metronome? What move are you gonna keep clicking? You're gonna keep clicking fic fickle beam? Is that what you're what? trying to do with metronome? <laughs> People don't. Julie, do you want to explain for them what metronome yeah, does? Yeah, so every time, you, with the metronome item, every time you use a move repeatedly, oh. um, it, it goes, increases in power up to a max of double power after five turns. Um, so why do you want to use it on a Yanmon? That's like the curious Why do you want to use it at all? It's a good, it's a good, um, people need to use that item more. I think people like, but... like well, the biggest thing... There are, there are situations where it does feel applicable, but... Like, Hydrapple does not feel like the Pokemon that runs the metronome. I've seen it on Zygarde 50 by, like, a lot before. Where the fuck the is things. it, like, recommended, apparently? I know it's recommended on... I, I don't know for sure if it's recommended on Xerneas, but I've seen a lot on Xerneas and Ubers. Apparently, like, some... I know that's not a help. Apparently, some Galarian Zapdos sets recommend it. What the fuck? <laughs> Where? <laughs> Uh, check SS, because I do believe that is where the item was first made. Nope, it was, it's, hey. this is an item that has existed hey guys. since Gen 4. We gotta give, we gotta give him credit, you know why? Oh, okay. He didn't take this set off of Smogon. That's true. So yeah, for some baby! reason, put speed EVs <laughs> onto his Hydrapple. Uh. Oh, it was four. Yeah. Are you seeing a speed crap, or are you just... Uh. And he's modest. Why did he just not put in a special attack, then? He did put, what he did, he did maximum attack. Oh, I thought it said Spadef. What am I? My bad. Uh, my bad. I don't fuck with that Celesteela set at all. Uh, it depends um, how, well, what it's used for. The, the EVs aren't pulled off of Smogon, I can tell you that. Uh, yes, please. More people should be bringing shoes on their, on their, uh, like, Vessel Pokemon, <laughs> Violet. And I, why Aqua Tail? That like that's just the one thing I don't get. Is like, why aren't we bringing like Liquidation or Waterfall? Come on! It doesn't get Liquidation. It it well, Waterfall is the best option. So why aren't we bringing Waterfall? Like, why are we gambling on like five percent for like ten base power more damage? It's not worth it. It's really yeah. not. Yeah, and also most of the time with like. The benefit of Gyarados or some Waterfall is like you D dance and then. You, you can potentially just be scummy with flinches. Yeah, it's like, what are we doing? Uh, why don't we have? Why are we Willow Hex? Like again, the Hex and Dark Pulse hit the same thing. Super effective. <laughs> they both hit Sloking the same. What else could they have been brought for? So hang on, hang on. Is there any reason to bring Earthquake into Andro? Yeah. Yeah. Right here. And here. And, uh... Yeah, I really just those two. Uh, yeah. It, uh, okay, okay. I agree with it on more Paco, but honestly, Gyarados should never be going in on more Paco anyway. I don't disagree. Um, uh... I... I actually... I actually would have preferred to see Crunch over the, um... Over the Earthquake for Slowking. Because hmm. Waterfall would just... Waterfall off a of D-Dance just probably... Kill the heat ran anyway. Yeah, yeah, no, I'd like to disagree. If you were a waterfall! Uh, Psychium Z is interesting. I don't know why. 
What wait, what is Psyche MZ for? I need to close this. What are we doing? Why are we bringing Psyche MZ? What is it for? What is it here for? It's, uh, no. for the Why is it coming into the team with two dark type? Oh. Uh, the only thing I could see for Z gravity, but I don't see gravity no, on my screen. No, it's for Psychic Fangs. Uh, Parker it's, just said uh, it for... Uh, wait, no, Surfetch is on... Nah, I, yeah, I was looking at the wrong game. Yeah, it's also, for... Yeah, me too. Using Galar? Maybe. 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 Like, why are we lying to ourselves? <laughs> like, you don't... <laughs> First off, minus one more Peko. I, is that, does that even kill? Does that even kill? Uh, he didn't part. They didn't even bring any either of them. But like, if it was like this, uh, was it jolly? That was so jolly. It doesn't even kill! Like, why are we lying? Why are we lying to ourselves? Why are we bringing Psyche MZ? Why? Just parting shot it. Like, why That's are we lying? Fun. And, like, it's not gonna kill Weezing Galar either, probably. I mean, actually, it might kill Weezing Galar. I guess that's why. Uh, actually, no, it does kill Weezing Galar, doesn't it? Uh. No, it doesn't. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, that's... And we died a strange stream. Oh my god. Dove. Like it just it I I get why like that's probably like like for like it doesn't actually do anything. Instead, you could. No, I I don't like it when like you're up against a team with double dark type. No, that's my other thing. Is like there's two dark types and you're bringing Psyche and Z. Two dark type carries, and you're bringing Psyche MZ. There's only one ground type. Why not bring like just Electric MZ for a massive fucking electric nuke? I uh, know technically Aura Wheel isn't always an electric type move, so that might be why. But you could bring like Aura Wheel, Rapid Spin, Protect, Parting Shot if you really want to like guarantee it. I don't know. It just it doesn't. Oh, I don't know. Bring Darky and. MZ so that you have recovery off the parting chest. Yeah, that too. I, mean, I, think, I think that's... Wait, yeah, you have a parting... Wait, what are we doing? We're trolling! <laughs> why are we not... If we have access to Z parting shot, why are we not bringing Z parting shot every week we bring more Peko? Anyways, um... This is normal. This is normal for, like, a scarf set. Pretty standard. Uh, assault vest is interesting. Wait a fuck! Oh yeah, Andrew brought assault vest, <laughs> swords dance, fetched. Oh you know, like, no! What are we doing, bro? Uh oh. Um, bro, just that's like I'm... bringing calm mind scarf last week. It's just, it's just, it's clearly like it's clearly I forgot to change it, but it's like I don't know what are we doing. I want to clarify for. I'm going to feel bad if Andrew's watching this and just sees us like bullying him. Like, this is meant to be funny. I apologize. I'm not trying to be mean. I promise. I joined into this and it's just pretty funny. <laughs> I am, Yo, let's play this replay. I'm, yeah, I'm being over the top. I'm going to get even madder watching it. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> You're not going to be mad I want you to do this for my match. Do this for my match, please. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> um, I think that's a pretty good U turn. Oh, so Massive yawn. Uh, good yawn. Yippee. Um. Honestly, I would have liked to have seen a, a, that's a, a second That's a bad yawn. mega. That's a, like, just really bad Ex mega, right? Extremely greedy. You don't, you don't mega there. We go for you a do second one. Um, okay. Uh, at both times I've seen him have his mega Gyarados, all he, he just sets up with it instantly. There's no looking for angles, it's just set up as soon as I can. <laughs> yes, exactly. Also, like... 
because like now we... as a Gyarados lover, it hurts yeah, me to see. Like now we get, we're just throwing it away. Like we're not, why aren't we switching to Celesteela here to tank the very clearly first impression? Uh, good. I, I, I like that's actually really unlucky. Like Tykeum Z doesn't even kill. That's crazy. Doesn't even kill a fucking Cramorant. Uh... And actually, actually. And I get Pikachu. No, I hear Pikachu this, I was about to say this actually yeah. puts us. That's actually that Psychium Z actually puts you in a really bad spot because now it has gold. It has G gorging gold missiles, so it's going to paralyze whatever you want. I think this is a pretty fine thing to get paralyzed on your team. In all honesty, um, that's some fucking damage though from it just dying. Yeah. Um, and actually, I do think this is a really good switch in. So we just go for uh, double hit, right? We just go for double hit here, right? What? Based. <laughs> what are we doing? That's based. Now he goes for double hit. It's going to do a lot of damage. So, yes. But Parker, wouldn't two That's double based. hits do more damage? Bro, I don't know. Well, one point, one point. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I need elaboration. I didn't look properly. It has double hit instead of double edge. No, double hit is actually so. Double hit is actually. The Dirk's technician. Better. It is technician, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Because double hit's what? So double hit 35. Uh, base 40? Thir so 35 times 1.5 with technician. 75 is 105. Yeah, so it's 105 with no drawback. And a slightly higher chance to like mini crit, basically, because of the. Okay. And a lovely mischance. Imagine if we got two of those off instead of that. Like, this thing would be dead, and we're not paralyzed. Why are we going for another one? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, now Why? that's too greedy. No! Stop greedy! The unbelievable I greed. Feel like, I feel like when I see Bacon Clay, I just see greed at all <laughs> angles. It's like... Honestly, seeing a triple axe there would have been insane, because that probably killed Slowking, but there's no way you leave Slowking in. Yeah. Especially when you use it in to fill this setup. Or we could have gone double hit, and that thing's dead. You could, yeah, you could honestly. Expecting Heatran, I guess? I don't know. No. I don't think... I think he just wanted to for greed. I think Julia hit it on the on the. No, nail. I think he's actually... He's literally playing for greed. He's like... But, like, you don't... Yeah. Here's the thing. You're a fast... You're parad. You just get revenged easily. No, like, you're a fast, <laughs> frail Pokemon that is paralyzed. You are dead. Yeah. This Pokemon is useless now. Go for... Just go for the... How much damage you can do. Now, I will say, I will defend Bacon slightly, and that this might be where he could, his methodology could have been going from, and that is that this is the only 100% accurate move. However, I still think it's a wrong play. I think it's really bad. Alright, you got a Stoke Scarf too. You, you, you take the chance regardless. The, the, the Mon that... D d oh, yeah, words. That resist you. Also, that fact. feels like just a waste of Chiyo. Um, wait. 328. 331. Why did we keep Chiyo in? Why, why did Chiyo stay in against Lando? What? We'll never know. It outspeeds we'll never us. Know. I'm, I'm assuming that Bacon sort of just uh, uh, tunneled. On the fact that he knew he could kill, but didn't think about Scarf. It doesn't matter if it's Scarf, because he's not Scarf. So, it outspeeds him. Yeah, the the, the fish was... Bacon, uh, Bacon Tunnel Visioned. Like... That's, a, oh, that's my pure guess. Also, what are we doing? We just swap in, swap in the machine. Swap in the machine. What are we doing? Why are we, we threw away Celesteela? Uh, like, it, it survived. I'm. I'm. Because here's the thing. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. Bacon kind of deserves to lose from here's this the thing. position. It's scarf. So it's like if it locks itself in like Earth Power or Sludge Wave, you technically should be able to win. It has to lock itself in the Focus Blast, which is really unideal. Like by keep by no, having no, Celesteela die lock in there, the you're in a you lose by having Celesteela die there. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, wait. If Celesteel's alive, he wins. Yeah. If he switches out here, he wins. It. 
It hurts. Is that MVP heat trap? Uh, just virtually, if he just sends in a uh, Hydra Apple for the Heatran, like, sure, Heatran's gonna hit you for neutral damage, but I think two Fickle Beams kills heat Heatran I anyway. I agree. Um, or, wait, it has Earth Power, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, it's not the ideal play, I would say. Is it, is it Lando or Heatran? I feel I feel like it's actually it could even be Surfetch, but I don't. Surfetch really just got like two revenge kills, so maybe not Surfetch. Uh, I think it might be Lando. I'll give it to Lando. Yeah, I, ki I killed that uh, that uh, Ambi Palm. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And with that loss from Bacon, I lock playoffs and Lex. Let's go. Which yippee, which means yippee. you recall, that means Aurora, Bacon, and Leah are fighting for one last slot in playoffs. Anyways, would you look at that? My Lex is back. Yeah, Lex, who is with being five and zero, oh, has locked playoffs. This is Lex versus Violet, and we get to see what I can only describe as the most, like, hater play imaginable in this battle. Here's Lux's set. Here's Violet's set. Uh, I think that's an interesting, uh, nah, that is, Lex has chosen Crunch this week as her, uh, coverage move for Zom, Zenta. Uh, Everything else feels. Uh, I, think, I think the only big thing of note, otherwise, is Parish Song on Lapras, unless I'm missing something else. I I, I approve of Crunch here because of why you just do not hit Miss. No, Magic. I agree. I think Crunch is very good. I think Crunch is really good in Violet because also lets you hit hit G King. It lets you hit Slow King Galar. Mm -hmm. uh, yep, yep. Violet has finally brought shoes. She's brought shoes. <laughs> Holy shit! It's only taken six fucking weeks. <laughs> cool. uh, yep. I will say I think the reason why it frustrates me personally you this is not just the team where first off Cheems loves his funny little shoes like he loves his little booties he really does because he doesn't need more damage or more speed uh my other issue with it... And he doesn't like being damaged. No, he doesn't at all. And it takes a lot of damage. My other issue with it... He looks fucking awesome with shoes. This team has only Klefki Defog and Rodom Fan Defog for hazard removal. That's it. So it feels like you really need that hazard removal, that, like, anti-hazard on your carry Pokemon to me. So that's why I really don't get why it's taking this long. Like, this should have just been... This should literally just be it's wearing boots every week. Uh... Curious on what the expert belt lets pil like Pilus one kill, because uh, I feel like Eevee lights like usually just like the go to for it. Interested in why on air slash as well. I guess it's for like this lets you like threaten little against Hisui, which didn't end up coming. And I guess Zom. So oh yeah, it's for Zom. Who am I kidding? So let's talk about the. Uh, also wait, I just realized this isn't prankster; it's magician. Oh, did you not remember? That comes up in the battle. Huh. <laughs> Why? Because, be, because, funnily enough, um, I think there's a moment in the battle where, um, Lex is actually tricked into thinking that Mold Breaker, uh, ig right, causes, yeah. uh, pranks that do not work. Like, I just, I don't really know if I like that Klefki set, I'll be honest. I'm not really a vibing with the Calm Mind Klefki. Uh... Let's talk about this map. I, I don't. I think that's hater I mentality. I, I dig it. Yeah, in a mentality right mm -hmm. there. Like this is great. That scarf destiny bond. That's incredible. <laughs> that's incredible. Let's get into this battle. Let's see if it, I wonder if it works. Probably better than the last uh, Miss Magius one I saw. That was damage. That's chip. Hmm. 
Yeah, Lapras is not Well, the expert belt might have might be for um Tink Ooh, and uh, no, I can see it. Like, uh, Claude. Ah, oh yeah, it actually does like hit like quite a few things. It hits Tink, it hits Typhlosion, it hits Mandibuzz, it hits Claude. Um, yeah, that's the thing is I feel like Tink is a really good just hard switching into Klefki, right? Yeah, we love Tink. Does not seem like Violet does. Uh, unfortunately, we're out of shields. Yeah, that's Chip. Should be doing less Chip. Oh, it's I a think roar. the roar is really nice as well because you do force it out. He roars the uh, dog out. I think the encore is also really nice here because you force him to like force you out. Yeah, because you don't want to send Typhlosion out to kill it because otherwise. You, um, you know. You risk, uh, para, potentially. Oh! If you know. Oh, I know why she's not prankster. I know why she's not prankster. She's learning. She's learning. Whoa. She's learned, she's learned her lesson. What? <laughs> Threatening dark dark dark? No. <laughs> no. Uh. Like, cause she went against you last week, right? Last right! Week? Yeah. Right! Like cause you just walled it out I with, denied the, from uh, doing prank default with the prankster defog with incineroar and uh, since alexis brought mandibuzz every week i think it's actually a really good uh, never mind i take it back violet this is a good this was actually good this was actually a good idea i respect it i understand it i think your team <laughs> needed more hazard removal and i think the fact that we got into the trade deadline without you getting more hazard removal is a problem with your team but i respect the fucking tech however that means you're, you don't have your prankster yeah. on which is not necessarily always a good thing <laughs> Klefki is known for just prankster mm -hmm. in general. I mean, it's got really good hazard, like, it's got really good support of Musa. For prankster. Mm -hmm. Uh, gotta say, respect on, um, trying to get stuff done with Future Sight after what happened to Lex last yeah. week. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but doesn't, Lex doesn't fall for it this week. Bro, she's never gonna let that happen again. <laughs> That's an unfortunate flinch. Um, Good plan going for Crunch instead of Ice Will Crash. I think you know that you're anticipating that slop. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is going to come back for bad on my cow. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, Pow just comes for free, yeah. <laughs> you're actually so. You're so fine Bless to you. give up yeah. Mandibuzz there. I agree. I think this no. is like a worthy sacrifice. Also, this duo like actually works really nicely. Yeah. Uh. Also, yeah, that's that's Chip. That's Chip. Oh, oh that's good crit. Good crit. Good crit. Crit in um, the snow. Oh yeah. Also, the heal bell. I feel like especially with Violet's team, heal bell is so nice. She heal on my bell. Also, I think future sites are pretty safe to go for now that um, Manibus is dead. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I think Gigaton is or Tinkaton is the best. Thing to <laughs> take the future sites. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh. Also, good fucking encore. Uh. Yeah, I'm looking at the six months on the fueling team. I wonder what the fuck Air Slash is for. I mean, it might be for Zom. That's my other guess. It's for Shield Dog. Uh, I mean, I think you'd just rather uh, scald it anyway. No, I don't disagree. This thing is front shaped. It's a good move, Psychic Noise for Claude Sire. I agree, yeah. No. I'm saying some good <laughs> prep. The thing is, like, I feel like, yeah, you just switch into Lapras, right? Yep. Bye bye, Palace One. I mean, I think this thing is, like, still kind of a little scary in the back. Oh, wow, we're 40 times oh. in. Yeah, <laughs> this is a long battle. Lex has had two of those in a row now. See, here's the thing. 
Here it comes. This was awesome. No, it's awesome. That's Huge. actually this awesome. This was such a cool play. <laughs> Unfortunately, the chat just people erupt. are not happy. People do not like that dog. People do not like that dog. No, well, somebody allowed it. I mean, I think it's fine to be allowed. People don't <laughs> like. I think it's the people's fault for picking it, letting it get to 18th pick overall. That is true as well, but it's both. Also, that and still kills. Jesus Christ. That's just unlucky. Bruh. That's chip. It matters, I think. Oh, that's just fucked up. <laughs> that's evil, I, <laughs> I mean, it's only really fair after the scarf debond. Is an evil person at the end of the day, so it makes sense. Uh, um, MVP Tink. I agree. This is a Tinker. Yeah. This is a Tinker Lapras. I think Lapras. Showed why it's worthy. Yeah, I agree. Here too. It's it's between those two. I I am leaning a bit more tank though. Um, that's fine. This is why this is why people. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't know. Is Chen Pao overrated? Hmm, that's like what I'm wondering. No, no, yeah, no. Bro, it's fast Chen Pao. Uh, no, uh, no, Chen Pao isn't the problem. It just doesn't have the support pieces here, I feel. It has one of the best support pieces. It does. It has Galarian Slow King. Yeah, it's, it's got all... Gala it's, it's got G King, but like... It, yeah, G King, it Suicune, and Chen's are like... What this team is generally built around, and then... And like, it feels like the rest of the team just isn't really synergizing amazingly. You know what Pokemon I think this team could have done the most without? Up. Bing, bang, really? boom. I <laughs> yeah. I just I think this Pokemon does exactly what Shen Pao wants to do. So does this one, and this one's just dog shit. <laughs> yes, and like I don't think Shen Pao's fallen off. You just prepped for one, Julia, yeah. like a couple weeks ago. Oh yeah. Yeah, and and it it's scary, and it's really scary. Anyways, we have one last battle from this this set, and it's. Aurora versus Parker. That uh, it is. This is. Did, did you? I'll put the pokey paste there. I think there I got then. them. I don't think. Alright. Because it's like, shout out. Um, most of our group, we did our battles like, really early. I think. Did? Wait. Did they never get posted? They never got posted. Okay. Uh, I'll post mine yeah, at least. Yeah, post yours. All yeah. oh, right. Every time I see that mammoth swine, part of me is just like, oh, "Is it gonna be sandstorm?" <laughs> <laughs> it's Joy Scarf, which I like actually. This battle. Uh, yeah. I say actually, I didn't help you. I didn't. I don't think I helped you prep that, that much. For yeah. This, this. I yeah. I this was the first team since a guy I built primarily on my own. Um, Ooh, I guy. like the rock polish. I was about to say I love that. Yeah. Uh, I like the tank chomp. That's a funny gigglyph set. I think I did. I, I think I did suggest that part. Um, yeah. I like tentacle is pretty solid. Bulky pivot. Uh, love the scarm. Oh, a counter. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I think oh, I, I, I must love have, counter. I must have talked to you. I think it was Will Castelia, or. I don't remember who I talked to, but they said sturdy counter for the Mega Charizard. I was about to say no. That I I fuck with that. Up. I fuck with that. I really do. Sturdy. I really. Sturdy do. counter's always good. Always yeah. good. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I I fuck with it. I fuck with it hard. Uh. Yeah. Oh, I guess let's. I guess we'll go over the teams. Um, Parker's brought Mega Diancy, Mammoth Swine, Tentacruel, Gigalith, Skarmory, Garchomp. Aurora has brought Eldegoss, 
uh, Empoleon, Kilowattrol, Shaman Sky, Hariyama, and Mega Charizard X. A lot of birds. A lot of birds. A lot of birds. One, two, three, four birds on her team. Um, and, uh, yeah. Eldegoth. Yeah, Eldegoth is, like, kind Eldegoth of a bird. It's, like, it's, like, it's, like, dandelion, like, fluff. So, like, it counts as a bird. It's close enough. I was just bringing up that it's a Terra Captain. Oh, Terra Captain. Oh. Terra Grass. No Terra, though. Uh, I will say, I don't know. If this, is this a good match for Eldegoth? Um... Good shit. I think I think you want the Elder Goth no matter what, just for the rapid yeah. spin. Yeah, I mean, pulling on against Defog. That's an unlucky miss, but damn. There's the rapid yeah. spin. Yeah. I don't know. This is, as a rapid spinner, I think it's not good. Also, that's Chip. I uh, yeah. I'd Sorry, you about to say, Fo? After finding out that Bond doesn't get Terra Blast, I am not a fan of it at all. No, yeah, I think it's really I, bad. I thought it got something, but... It's, like, it's got Regenerator, but it's got, like... It's just not good. Negative coverage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a good switch on the Thunderbolt. Also, yeah, get, way to get those rocks back up. Yeah, like, you do not you do not use that Mon offensively. Also... Bro, my heart, um, my heart dropped when they used Snow Skate. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? I knew they were about to cook, but I had no idea what was coming. I was looking up every like everything they got, but I couldn't find out what it was. I I feel that. It's just like, I need to know, does anything get an ice type move? Yeah. I mean I think this is a good swap in like I will say, because like we now know this is a Z Captain. Like the um, weather ball, bro. You're about to get weather ball. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like he was using that was a Z Captain, apparently Normalium Z, so like it would get the boost, so it would become like it would become the Ice Z move, and that would have killed. So she missed count yeah. and lets Garchomp live there, and I think that's actually really bad. Cause like look how much damage you get what? off of it killing you. Oh, yeah, is that hard. how is that how Z moves work with Weather yeah. Ball? That's cool. Mm -hmm. Also, this is Torrent. Wait, wait, it is. Yeah, this is huh. Torrent Empoleon. Why? I <laughs> mean, I'm guessing they didn't realize there was any opportunity that they could lose stats. No, like, I, it doesn't no, matter. You just it's like, bringing them out of one. I, it might be, like, in my opinion, it doesn't matter. Like, just, like, so many moves just have that as, like, a downside, like, as, like, a secondary effect as well. Like, or, like, Defog, if you're, like, Haggers are stacking and Defog on Skarmory, like, it's objectively, also, yeah, Moonblast, like, it objectively makes sense to bring it. Like, also, Torrent's just not good on Empoleon. I'll say it. Like, it's, it's fine. Mm. It's a fine ability, but it's, like, you have access to such a better one that literally shot it up in usage by getting, I don't know, like, why would we not just run Torrent? Smart Giga Drain there. I like the Giga Drain because you know this thing probably that like Giga will probably switch out, so you can just get some like recovery. Now that's not the smart. I, oh, well, actually, actually, Parker, that's a really good predict by you. If you're predicting the swap. Yeah, I was kind of. Oh like, yeah, I like it. Balls, yeah, fall, yeah, fall, I, yeah, like it really paid off. It's so, like so many things could have came in, but like. I, I just had I just had that feeling. I mean, Empoleon to be fair, because mainly he's swapping on ice type move. It's Empoleon because it's four times resistive. Exactly. And, and it's the only have... one that can really take those. Yeah, and they have so many things weak to uh, ice type. Move. Uh, Hariyama could, but like it's so low health that like it really can't. I think this is a good yeah. like, sacrificial lamb as well. And just get those like I don't know if even you need to do that. I feel like you could have like slow flip turn, and that would have actually been a better play. Then getting more toxic spikes up. I mean, that was pretty obvious. I feel. I feel. I feel like you could have gone for it there. Probably. I think I was scared of the miss. That's mist. fair. That's fair. Um, I think this is like that. That is a like a pivot move as well that like favors you more. That does a lot of damage though. Got the lefties. Yeah. 
But like, like, like I think you're happy. Like you're happy for Skarmory to die here. I think this is really in your favor. Uh, this doesn't even die. You really need to go for the Thunder Punch. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> like you're dead no matter what. You probably just go for Cold Combat though. Yeah, you click Rapid Spin here. I mean, what does Thunder Punch even hit with the things that are alive on my team? You? Really? They're like it's Skarmory. Like, yeah, just 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 Skarmory. Uh, no, I think, yeah, I think Stone is here as well because you're locking yourself into that. And there's flying tape and fire flying type. And this is just a misplay. Like Aurora knew this that she could have gotten a D dance off here. To be fair, yeah, I think it doesn't matter actually because like I feel like in that case you would just get the Stone Edge off. She gets D dance. You swap to like Gigalith or Diancy. Let it kill them, and then and then Amazon just comes back in and ice shards, and that ends the game. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure ice shard in especially oh especially if Gigalith comes out and gets like a tick of sand damage. Yeah, that would absolutely kill. Yeah. Um, how much how much uh, HP does uh, Deontay still have? Full, like full. Yeah. It. I mean, but... Deontay just killed the. No, it doesn't. It would outspeed, yeah, but and then if, it's... if it has earthquake yeah. and it megas. So like, there's a world if they just megaed and D danced. Mammoth Swine can't kill. Like, hypothetically, if I just stay on Mammoth Swine and attack, it will die. Um, if I send Dang as the end, it'll die. I mean, they just, uh, it so, is like, a misplay at the end. Oh, okay. I thought you yeah. could have at least still tanked, like, one EQ, but that makes sense. Uh, no. uh to be fair, that, that's, that's a pretty clean cut Mammoth Swine win, or MVP. I, I think so, too. Uh, I remember when you said you were kind of drop thinking about dropping Mammoth Swine. Yeah, I was thinking of dropping Mammoth one. Swine, but I mean, yeah, at least you have to use do as well. No, it's been putting in work. In the is it has it only come twice. It's only come twice. It's yeah. been work both times. Uh, no. Get the sandstorm into the sweep. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> All right. All right. So yeah, moving on to the other side of the bracket. Or the other group matches. We're gonna start with Ellie versus Foe, because we have Foe here. Alright. Yeah, so again, at this point, um, while Lex and I have made playoffs, the uh, Kalos, or Galar division is a bit more tight. You see, even though Foe and Guy are both undefeated, because Hannah and. I mean, Paul Dea. Paul Dea, fuck. I might be stupid. I'm tired. I never forget what the tears are. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't remember the names at all. Either, uh, group four. Right. Let's just call them that. I mean, it is group four. Yeah. Group blue. A blue team. Yeah, this blue group is um, a little bit closer. It would take a win for Foe and Guy and a loss for Hannah and Nate to lock playoffs. Uh, I don't have foe sheet. I don't have foe sets, but I do have Ellie sets. So Ellie has brought Mega Gallade with agility. I can find it. Black Secret Sword, Poison Jab, Battle Bond, Life Orb, Greninja, Stealth Rock, Terra Fighting, Body Press, Dragon Tail, Thunder Wave, Duraludon with like max HP and a little bit and a decent bit of fighting or defense investment. Scarf Rotom Heat, Life Orb, Mimikyu, and Assault Vest Berserker. Do I never post mine? No. I never fucking post mine. Wow, I'm a yeah. loser. <laughs> Damn. That was brought suing Quillfish, uh, Forges, Roaring Moon, Zapdos, Mega or Mega Manette, the most useful of Pokemon, and okay. Treads. <laughs> All you need to know is that the Mega Manette has Skitter Smack. Mm -hmm. Which I know, I can see exactly why you brought it. I think it's a sweet or bring. Uh, good Volt Switch. That's Chip. Fortunately, there's a Thunder Wave on a pair on Forges. Psychic's an interesting bring. I guess it's for uh, Rose Raid. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Also, yeah, losing that EV like kind of sucks early. Yeah. You turn. I don't know if this is what I would have brought in, but I dig it. Uh, oh, we want to get rocks up. That's why. Yeah, you're both cringe from getting nicknames, actually. Uh, unlucky hurricane miss. Cringe. <laughs> uh, it's okay. We'll, I'll get oh. back for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is this? Yeah, I think this is it. This is the this is the series it. of turns yeah, that was. The, it really. It's the 
paralyzed. And then I, I missed her. Right. It didn't get me as much as it looked like it would have, honestly. Yeah. But yeah, it was pretty unlucky. Unlucky for them. Yeah. Uh, unsure if Berserker is what I'd bring in against Zapdos. I don't know. It's not bad, though. Uh, good Volt Switch. That's damage, though. Uh, Iron Head. I guess predicting the switch. <laughs> I thought I'd be slower split, there. Split healing. I thought I was slower, or I'd or there'd be a switch, and I also. Uh, oh my god, that's so good. That is so good for Huge Ellie. Trick. Yeah, that turn was very and bad for gotta, me. It's, it's, <laughs> that was the beginning to the end. You're already per paralyzed, but then you get yeah. scarfed as well. I'm assuming you were like synth or wish or like synthesis. Uh, I think this is a fine, like, it's fine to bring that out. Here comes Mega Banette. If, oh, it's, he's got an Eevee Light. Hey, no. nice, he's got an Eevee Light. Oh. And I, so I'm, I was like thinking, like, I'm like, am I going to fucking Destiny Bond or something? Maybe you switch Greninja. And I see that, I'm like, oh. and I was, at first I was like, why do you, and I'm like, oh, in case, like, Greninja comes into, like, Dark type counter or the Prankster. I'm like, okay, I can see it. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, hi Zapdos. Hi Rotom Heat. Does it confuse? No! That's, that's Chip. Yeah, I think this is a oh. really good angle for Gren. Because, I don't know if that crit mattered, but that's a nice crit. Uh, so, yeah, this play here is basically a 50-50 yeah. between whether I go... Scarf Roaring Moon or Scarf Threads, and I guessed wrong. Because <laughs> if this ever gets a battle boost, uh, battle bomb boost, I just lose. I was like worried. I did this. I did this. This is yeah, awesome. Yeah, I was worried because like if you had a Destiny Bond there, I was like, oh, do you just like Destiny Bond kill it? I actually didn't have oh. Destiny Bond. Um, I'm not that cringe. What you're not gonna bring Scarf <laughs> Destiny Bond? Um, is this like? This is just Greninja, isn't it? This is definitely oh, a toaster oh. MVP. <laughs> if I've ever seen it. So, no, Mimic you MVP. Oh, Mimic you that didn't even hit the field? <laughs> Mega Galade MVP. Yeah, this is, um, that was a 4v6. There's your, uh, there's your new, new yeah, starter you know, suite. I won't lie. Um, I was thinking, after my battle with Poke, I was like, you know, maybe Dragapult, like, wins, like, Mon of the Week this week. And then this battle happens. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And I was like, I was like, man! Fuck! Great showing from, from Brandon. Yeah, Hill. I think... I was talking about... So, I think the best way to describe this battle... This is what should have happened last week for Ellie. This is what we should have ha seen happen against Guy with Greninja. Instead of just Greninja dying, getting one shot, and like dying without doing anything last week. This is what should have happened. And frankly, I won't lie, uh, I think Greninja's found a really solid home on this team. Like, I think it fits really well. Like, this team is clearly built now around, like, setting up Gallade and Mega Gallade and Greninja to win games. And I think it's... Yeah, to just go crazy. And I will say, so I want to quickly <laughs> talk about, actually, uh, oh shit. I want to talk about the other teams that did make roster moves, so we'll do, um... I, th I think we do that as an epilogue, epilogue and post, yeah. just to get for Good the rest point. of the Yeah, no, I think... Yeah, that, that's clearly a Greninja MVP. Um, that might be Mod of the Week. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, Phil, you finally got a Mod of the Week. <laughs> I did it! Yeah, in your battle. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot those words, but, uh... No. Alright, so moving on, we have... What are you talking about? Oh, Foe's real mod of the week it is coming next week, obviously. Oh, God. No spoilers, no spoilers! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on. Uh, what are you talking about? I didn't say if you won. I only have guy sets, I don't know what yeah, Tom is. I will say we did talk about the Elder Goss in the beginning, but uh, that, that could be safe yeah. for later. Uh, so. I'll talk to, I'll talk to you guys later, right? Have a good night. Yeah, I'm gonna get up here. Have a good one. So, Jami has brought uh, Raikou, 
Mega or not Mega Dance, Me Mel Metal, Talon Flame, Milotic, Flygon, Aramatis, and then Guy has brought Mega Medicham, Starmie, Bisharp, Amoongus, Togekiss, and Kyurem. These are pretty standard. I think the bar the Beery Berry is an interesting brain because like I don't know if it really helps you against Mel Metal. Uh, I think Guy has said that the reason that he brought it was for like. It wasn't for Mel Metal. It was, it was for, for Terra Blast yeah, Flygon. Like, I don't know if I fuck with that. I'll be honest. I like this. I do like the yeah, horse here to bring though. Uh, I think Scarf Kyurem is also excellent. Like I think this feels like this feels pretty standard. Otherwise, um, no, I don't. I don't, I fuck with this team. I think I think Sludge Bomb and Clear Smog. This is absolutely a team where you could bring both. On Amoongus. Like, I think this is a pretty good Amoongus set. Not well, honestly for this battle. Uh, I think Spec Star is pretty good here. No, I fuck with this team. I think this is a really good team. The battle. Yeah, I think Flygon's a pretty good lead here. Okay. Yeah, you kind of do have to Terra. That's just unfortunate, though. Free Rocks, though. And now Kyurem's forced to switch out. Like, it can't stay in. So I think you go for, like, what, a Toxic or something? Yeah. I have, I have so much to say about this battle. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone in the Raps was watching it oh, live. Oh, were they? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll point out the turns where people reacted. I think killing Starmie this early is Massive. so good. Yeah, that's, that's actually like, crazy. That's the only hazard removal, isn't it? Yeah. If you can get those rocks back up. Oh, that's a big one. You, you can get those rocks back up at some point. You're so that's good. Just big damage. Ooh. Unlucky Toxic oh, yeah. Miss. Um, here it comes, here it comes. Yeah. Now Jami oh, has the is doing Togekiss thing! Jami has a Foresight to switch. Okay, did she have Cobra Cloak on this? Jami was not in the channel with anyone. Ah. Jami was all by themselves. I mean, I, I've seen that. Yeah, I see a lot of people do that. Sucker Punt. Okay, um, I... That was crazy. Like that that was, was weird. a bad move by Guy. Yes, yeah, so... Let's look at the damage. Like... Bro, that Bell just... Metal's so just here's the thing. Crazy. Oh, I think you could... Yeah, I think this is actually the right move to stay in on Bell Metal that turn. Just try and like, see if you can force a sleep turn. Because you do... <laughs> also, that's... Yeah. Good. Oh, 07. Um, so that turn right there, where Aromatis died, someone in the Rats Discord said, I really hope Aromatis lives to the end of the battle. <laughs> and then immediately <laughs> Jump Bombies switches in and just To be fair, it. I think that is the correct Saki. Uh... Oh, I think it I think is, Mel too. Metal is too important. Hey, yeah, even even Jami knew this. Die. Also, like, I think letting Mel Metal stay alive, like, stay in on that, like, that clear swap out from Amoongus is the right play, because you can try and burn that, you burn that for, that guaranteed sleep turn. Mm-hmm. Uh, Raikou is... That actually, when I saw that, I was like, I was like, wait, can Raikou, like, queen here? Like, Raikou's in a really good spot. Uh, because you just go for another X sensor, right? Call mind, ooh. Call mind. Because the nice thing is, like, with Mel Metal still asleep. Also, that's that's Jip though. Oris here is crazy. Um, I'm a little surprised Raikou's out sped though. I'm not. I think it's scarf. It is scarf. It is scarf. It's, it's scarf. That's scarf Kiram. Oh right, right. Uh, I don't like that because I would have really liked to keep this at full health to potentially deal with like a late game Mega Mega Champ with Gale Wings. Tough will yeah. will dismiss. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think uh, that's the right play either. Um, I think I think you swap into this. I think like you get a guaranteed. If does it wake up here? Yes, you kill it. It wakes up. Like and the the berry doesn't even do anything. Like you just sacky this, and then I think you. S this. No, this, like this is the right thing to bring in. Uh, yeah. Side of recoil though. Oh my god. Now this next 100%, turn, baby. nah, I... bro. Everyone, everyone was mad that Jami let Talonflame die. I agree. I agree. They're Talon. right. I think he needs it. You can't. He's... You can't let Talonflame die. Yeah, to be fair, you do have right. Yeah, because now you have nothing. But like, I... that's massive damage, actually. That's no, jam. It's that's game. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Yeah, you, you don't send Milotic in. Immediately, I, I feel there. Swap. Yeah, I that think too. You swap out there. I think you just go for damage. If you have earthquake, I think yeah, I think you just click earthquake. Wait. Yeah. 
Wait, hang on, give me a second. Give me a second, give me a second. But yeah, like, the call was like, not happy, Jami let Talent Flame die there, but letting uh, Milotic in that early, it was just like the nail in the coffin. Everyone was so upset. Okay, so it dies. So let's say, so how much did, how much did you turn? Do? We know it has you turn. Uh, and uh, do, 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 do keep in mind it's getting hit by a trail I know, blast, but like, here's the thing, I'm wondering if sacking Flygon is the right move there anyway, because then you can get Raikou in for free, and it's still out speed, so keep that in mind. Raikou would still out speed. Unless this is max speed Raikou. With, like... Which, if it goes for a close combat, and now if it goes for Trailblaze, it, that's game still. Like, I think Trailblaze is the right move. I'm mainly checking. Does a... So they max HP my logic live ever live the move. Oh, that's another good thing too. So you turn did how much there? Uh thirty-three percent? So that would have been a max roll. Okay, so that would have been seventy percent. You have it on death's door. Yeah. Yeah, I think you always go for earthquake. Because I'm I'm wondering now, that was physical defense melodic, right? Most likely. How much did Trailblaze do? Trailblaze Oh my god, yeah, so the... Oh, no, it dies. It... Yeah, you died a CC. Okay, That's unfortunate. Mind. Wait, no, that did 44. Not... Wait, so... Oh, then that's not a uh, full oh. attack in Oh my god, wait, yeah. Oh, Jami. Yeah, Jami just oh, straight up that, that sucks. That really does suck. That is... Yeah. Especially because I feel like you risk a CC no matter what. Because then, um, if a CC happens, Raikou outspeeds. Yeah, no, I agree. That's the thing, is like, so if, if, so here's what, so the operation is, you let, you let Flygon die, or get, get Chip. And if it doesn't go for Trailblaze, you go to Raikou. Um, so if, if Flygon dies and goes for close combat, you go to Raikou. If it goes for Trailblaze, and then it, it would, it gets the Earthquake off, then you go to Melodic. So you have that, like, order of operations. Because you know it's going to have Trailblaze. You know it has Trailblaze. Like. A big thing as well is, like, you get to fish damage numbers. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. It's... I... It's an unfortunate misplay, but, like... Because, I mean... It's a stressful environment no, for yeah. the game. It's so close. I, yeah. I thought Jami would win. I thought Jami would really win. I, I, I think up until, like... Up. Letting Talent Flame die, Jami was yeah, outplayed. I agree. I, I think, think Jami was Flame died there. Up until that turn. That, that swap was like that swap was completely like that like that it's like, oh, guys only got one Pokemon left. Jami's got three, Jami should win. That one swap there all momentum is lost. Yeah. It's just it's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, I feel truly uh, bad. But yeah, I think Loki, it kind of has to be an MVP. I agree. Just no, Mega Meta Meta Champ won't save it, that it. battle. Uh, For sure. 100%. Yeah. Like. Like, it saved that battle. It saved what was a lost battle. Because uh, frankly, like, frankly, Jami should have won there. Let me be very clear. That was grasping defeat from the jaws of victory, it really feels like. All right. Now we move on to Zach versus Nate. Let me see. I know they sent their sets, or Nate sent his set. Zach didn't. Um, I I dig the AV and Gudra. A choice band Crobat is interesting, but I can kind of fuck with it. That's a that's a Metagross set. That's an Armaldo set. I think Aqua Jet's the really big, like, standout thing for me on Prim. Where it's like, huh? Uh, and what's... I think... I know it because it's in the channel. With but they're only stab, it feels weird. Yeah, that is a little weird. Huh. Uh, and I think the, the Buggy MZ is for Ogopon Wellspring. Which, speaking of, so, they just brought Gudra, Crobat, Manetric... Um, Metagross, Primarina, 
and Armaldo. Zach has brought Ogrepan Wellspring, Iron Moth, Regilecki, Poltegeist, our Archaeops, and Regice. Start this off. Good U turn. Um. Uh -huh. Massive weakness balls. Massive. Yeah. <laughs> Massive. But now you know that even if it, you know that even if it somehow lived, it was gonna be yeah, bad. Yeah, Sash is so like Sash is crazy. So lucky actually. to have here. If you don't have Sash there, I think yeah. it's GG. Like honestly, I think Metagross runs away with the game. Yeah. Uh yeah, this goes to Rockwood. Good water absorb switch though. Oh, I think I get the Aqua Jet on Prim. It's an extra insurance policy, um, in case Bolt gets off, uh, Shell Smash, mm, I imagine. Maybe, yeah. Uh, yeah, good U turn. Also, yeah, that is Ogre Pond Wellspring's first kill, by the way. Which yeah. actually is awesome. We're gonna be here a little bit. That was super effective. Yeah, this. Just... Well, um. <gasps> what terror type did Red Guys oh, drink? That's a question. Um, let's just go for another terror psychic. Oh, ter is that terror water? That's terror water. So what is? Oh yeah, look, it finally dies. The other terror type is water, electric, ice, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good kill. I guess it's second. And Crowbat just comes out here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just throw in it. You click U turn. Whatever comes out. U turn, something dies. Oh. U turn. Uh. How about, like, doesn't even care about that spike damage it's accumulating, oh even? Oh my oh. god, surely we're not ancient powering. Bro, ancient. I started laughing when I saw I did that. As well. that was awesome. I was like, I actually oh my love God. that. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Stomp it's the earthquake. Um. Drug meter is crazy. Honestly, you could have just earthquaked again. Yeah, you, you could have just, like, what if really you miss, man? Your beam is also crazy. This is also cool. Does it matter? Hey, you come on, Crobat. No. You just <laughs> click Zen Headbutt. Uh. I I want to say Crobat. I want to say Crobat too. It came in every time for those revenge kills. It got his job done. An awesome Pokemon, right, Maggie? You love Crobat. Crobat. I fuck with Crobat so much. It's such a good Pokemon. It does not get the love it deserves. Uh, we did Ellie versus Foe already. Good win. And we can do our the last battle. The last battle to get finished. Ben versus Maggie. And I, I can tell, ex like, I remember, I think I remember telling you, one of your Pokemon just licks its lips at Ben's team. So, Maggie, so <laughs> Ben has brought Quagsire, Mega Mawile, Galvantula, uh, Vileplume, my, uh, not Manta, <laughs> Primeape, and Glaring Moltres. Maggie has brought Pelipper, Mega Swampert, Heliolisk, Absol, Tornadus Therian, and Agron. I don't like the no. I still don't. I still don't like this from Ben, where he's doing this like no HP invest, really like not like max HP Quagsire, which I really don't like. I feel like Quagsire like should. Oh be my god! Like, I didn't even. What's the... I didn't. Look, I, no, I think that the bigger problem with this Quagsire is it It's not the HP. It's the ability. Oh wait, yeah, you're right. I feel like against your rain team, you you're kind against of the rain beat, team. Not me, but like you completely neuter Swampert if you bring Water Absorb. Like I get, I get why Unaware is like the easy like autopilot ability to bring. Uh, I don't necessarily like dislike it in that regard. Like it's good for that. Uh, I'm what I'm. I'm quick to criticize. Uh, his like the Sunny Day Vileplume, but like frankly, I think it's again. Not bad into your rain team if you can like set de shut down that like Swampert Sun or Swampert Rain. Um, effect four is a little odd with it, but I can dig it. I mean, he's bring 
He's bringing, like, scar... Specs, so, like, I can see it. Like, I don't dislike in that regard. Um... I get... Uh, he was... I get the defense investment as well, again, to, like, protect against that Mega Swamp or Sweep. Hmm. Huh. I don't like the max. I don't like the max speed Mega Mall while I really don't. Can I also point yeah. something out? Um, there's just four stat points not in. Give yeah, that Galvan I mean, like where where are they? Not, that's not the worst. <laughs> I guess it doesn't like, matter. Uh, As also, I, I I do have another question. You said he wanted Sunny Day. Well, he's Vileplume? brought Sunny Day Vileplum a few times, not with specs, obviously. You wouldn't bring. Oh, specs okay. I was gonna say because. I don't see it. in no, This yeah. game. Uh, he's he's oh, gonna do it a few times with like Violet Yeah, yeah. I think I think the critique is more so this was a game where it would yeah, have been I mean, very practical. I mean, like, I've been like I've been not a big fan of it. This would be the case where I can see it being actually not bad. Like that's what I'm saying. Because again, you're up against Rain Team. Uh, again, I don't. I really just I don't I'm... vibe with these like spidef like the like defensive boosts that much. I don't like. I don't like the primate bring into a team that is uh, running two flying types, uh, and not bringing one to punch on the set yeah. at least. Like I, 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 I poison jab yeah. deals with Comfey, I'm guessing. Rage fist deals with Gengar, and also it's just, it's, it's good like it's just good coverage. Star ghost as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Uh, overall, I don't th I don't think these are bad per se, or anything like that. There's some questionable things. I can see the appeal in the max speed Mawile, especially when you have a sticky web yeah, lead. Yeah, I mean, I don't because it's still like zero speed. Yeah, like I think like Mega Swamp is still getting outsped, but I don't know. Ah, uh, it, it 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 could be worse though. It could be worse for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, jumping into it, though. Oh, wait, we haven't talked about Anyhow. your sets. Um, that's pretty standard, that's pretty standard, that's pretty standard. I don't, I'm not trying to, like, gloss over them, but it's like, we've talked about, wait, never mind, that heal list is not no, 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 standard. Those what the <laughs> fuck? I'm just seeing the max padaf. Ah. Okay, so, um, allow me to explain, mm -hmm. um, because these four slots are actually more interesting than... Uh, uh, then, um, oh, Heliolisk, I literally added to the team today, um, before the battle, because, um, you might be wondering the max for death. I was, it's an emergency button if Sticky Webs is up. If Sticky Webs is up, having the speed invest doesn't matter, and I need it to kill Galarian Moltres. I see. Okay. Never mind then. I uh, I fuck with it. I can see why. That's smart. A smart bring. Absol is also here because is Galarian Moltres clicking Fiery Wrath. Ooh, I get a justified pop. Hmm. I don't hate that. I don't dislike it. I think Galarian Moltres has also been like a good, really good like performer on Ben's team. It feels, or at least it feels solid. Uh, so uh -huh. I, I respect it a lot. Uh, there's also a secret it, secondary factor to me bringing in, um, Absol here, and that is the Sucker Punch coverage, and I'll get to that in a moment. It doesn't come up in the battle, sadly. But, uh, then we have Tornadus. Tornadus actually just deals with so yeah, much of that Yeah, like, I remember looking at this team, and I'm like, oh, I was like, okay, wait. Tornadus with, like, Heat Wind, Bleak Wind, Storm, and Grass Knot hits, like, everything. <laughs> Yeah, and like, when I realized that, I, was, like, for I can this. run Nasty Plot to get around the... the heat wave, Heat Wave. I, I can run Nasty um, Plot to get around the Galarian yeah, Ultra. like, I think that's actually a really good bring. That's, like, actually really clever. Um, do you want to talk about this fucking aggro? <laughs> I'm not sure if you saw it, Parker. <laughs> uh, that's an yeah. awesome set, man. <laughs> Just literally everything in your power to be awesome. So, oh, um, Agron is my sweet little summer child for this battle. As you can see, the EVs are a little weird. Um, and that comes into the fact that, that I brought Rock Polish. <laughs> Getting a Rock Polish off with that amount of speed, Agron outspeeds everything. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, Rock Watch. I thought you. I thought for some reason I thought you brought automatized when I was watching the VOD. Uh, no, because then I risk um, I risk Mega Mawile's heavy slams actually hurting. <laughs> Sorry, that just feels funny to say because I don't think that Pokemon like ever bring heavy slam. And I. You say that, but it's on the recommended it strong is? on set. How much does that bitch weigh? Hit the gym. <laughs> oh, you're a liar. You lied to me. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. The Caltex lied to me then. It's on the. Uh, it's on uh, the sword dance set on Caltex. If I remember looking correctly. I'm not seeing heavy slam. Uh. Okay, I'm. I'm a liar. I'm a liar. I I'll take that out. Mega. I I'll take that out. I was lied to. I was gonna say, like, how much does this thing have? Like, uh, there's Iron Head. Uh, but yeah. I, I have a way, um, I polished the Mirox. Yeah, no, this bitch tiny! What do you mean? It's Heavy Slam deal something. <laughs> listen, listen, we account for everything in this house. Okay, let's get into this battle. Um, um this is probably um, the best yeah. thing we could have had. Like, and, actually. Yeah, this is actually the entire reason Agron is built the way it is. Yeah. Oh my god, it's such a good, like, anti-lead. Uh... And then you get rocks up anyway. And I, I think this is so funny. To me. Also, I was, about, I was about to say, why don't you click um, Bulldoze? I was like, no, no, don't click Bulldoze. You don't click Bulldoze. That'd be like clicking yeah. Parting Shot into this. Also, oh my god. <laughs> it's so good. It's the classic Aaron set. You know? I love Ben's Moltres nickname as well. Um, I love how you guys basically just trade setup here. Uh, <laughs> also, that ancient power did way more than I thought it would, because it's ancient power. Ancient power jumps. Yeah. Uh, good kill though. Good kill. I mean, like I feel like you just switch in. Oh, that's just unlucky. Uh, yeah, I think I think Ben's right. You should just send out Mawai. Oh, that's all. That's unlucky. If he clicks Sludge Bomb there, uh, I think he should have sent out Mawile instead of Quagsire. That would have been my play. Yeah. Honestly, I should have switched here for different. That's mean. But I just did not care. You've won. You've won already. You've also won the mental battle. Yeah. Um. I also don't need to do <laughs> this. He's already dead. I. I mean, I know why. I know why. <laughs> yeah. Here he comes, and he just clicks Earthquake. Yeah. That's just... That's Tornado's theory, and if I've ever seen one. <laughs> uh, Tornado's theory was just so good here. Um, it's a... Uh, it's it a mod. We've got one battle left, and it's Bushy versus Hannah. All right, and this is, I believe, is this, yeah, this is the deb debut of Hannah's new team, right? Yeah. So. All right, so Hannah has brought Venusaur, Azelf, Gouging Burger, Doc Spun, Walking Wake, and Torkoal. Bushy has brought Megalopony, Golden Glow, Moltres, Lycanroc Dusk, Claydol, and Dugong. Yes! We have Explosion Azelf! Uh, I fuck hard. I'm, I'm curious what the Terror Rock, what that's for. I guess it's it's for Moltres. That's what it's for. Who am I kidding? It's Scarf yeah, as well. Yeah, I like it. I love I it. I love set. it. I like the, uh, I like the, the set on Docs one. I, I did not know that Gouging Fire got Scale Shot. I knew it got D-Dance. I was like, oh, you're gonna run like D-Dance, Gouging Fire. Nope, Scale Shot as well. Um... Talk about overkill. <laughs> that is a walking wake set, and that is a Torkoal set, though. Like, 
Nothing else to say about them. They're pretty standard. Very, very, very much like watching this thing, see what it does. Uh, meanwhile, on Bushy's side, we have Megalopony and Golden Go. Or Golden Go. I can't fucking speak. Uh, I'm interested in. I think Scorching Sands is an interesting bring. It's clearly so it can kind of deal with, um, like, Gouging Fire, right? Right? I think so. Yeah. Uh, I like the I like the like banded lichen rock. I think. Oh, I know why it's AV. I think so. I think Dugong is meant to be like a weight counter, and then we have a like utility ish kind of set on play ball with a little bit of a spadak investment. So yeah, let's jump into it. Yeah, because I, like, oh my god. Like, oh my god. Look at that damage. That's chip. Uh, good knockoff, though. No more shoes for James. Uh, need to just flip turn out. I think, it's a, I think it goes for DDS. What swaps in here? Okay, yeah. With power. Part of me is almost wondering, like, would a just staying in on uh, play doll and teleporting have been a better move? I don't know. Yes, that scorching sands does damage. Uh, also, sun morning sun is so strong because the healing Jesus is increased two thirds of your health. Mm. That's a really good swap. As of just hit something hard, yeah. Oh my god. And Scarf, you can just do that again. Well, I think Bushy knows, right? No, he doesn't! Bushy oh doesn't my know! God. Bushy does not know. I was like, oh, he's gotta know it stayed in. Man, losing a little funny that early feels bad. I was gonna say, like, I wonder if he knows that it's, um, it stayed in at Scarf. He doesn't, and then he loses it. Uh, I think yeah, having the rocks up now is really tough for Bushy. The thing is, like, I think he needs to play around getting Clay all in, and I think it's gonna be hard to find those angles. Also, that was like, I was like, huh? It gets that? I didn't know this thing got that. I was like, that's kind of awesome. Uh, yeah, now we're just kind of in the get, uh, like, scorching sun trade right now. Yeah, this is sort of a situation where I remember watching the battle, and it was like, it, it, um, if only this Moltres had Brave Bird. I don't actually even know how much that more that would help, in all honesty. I, I think it would have helped more just because of the fact that, uh, um, the defense. defense Yeah, I mean, drop. I guess it depends on if Hannah goes for, like, another one, like... I mean, that's just an unlucky miss as well. Oh, that but, feels and, bad. And then we should get his own more. Oh, you went for 40. So, I guess, I mean, I guess Bushy does win out in the end. Yeah. He loses Ultras for it anyway, though. Uh, yeah, this, obviously, like, this comes in, just sit back it up. And I, I think, but yeah, Bushy just goes for a rapid spin here, right? Oh, no, Earth Power. Oh, my God. Good crit. Now, Whoa. now let's you just go. go spin, right, like, yeah. You break the switch and you just go for rapid spin. Earth power because it doesn't. I feel like rapid spin would kill there. Either Maybe. way, getting up the rocks. I mean, it good. definitely does. Teleport uh, probably, out. but I, I, I kind of like it in case of, um, a Venus swap because you do want to preserve Torkoal. Well, massive yeah. T wave. Still out speeds and dead. Wow. I I think that's actually a game determining uh, turn. Oh, I, I I agree. Yeah. Yeah, Lincoln Rock does like nothing. Gee, I mean this is max defense, so. And so it's gonna try and wish recover. Oh. 
I mean, yeah, Hannah is probably, like, safe to do that. She knows, she probably can, like, tell, like, what EVs Claybell has and the damage it's been doing. So she knows she's pretty safe. Yeah, and there's also just the fact that, like, um, since Bushy lost, uh, Goldengo, how do you deal with the duck's bang? You can't deal with the stupid button. puppy. It's a good dog. I love exactly. that dog. So it's actually, like, goaded. Yeah, because Mr. Frog just cleans up here, right? I will say, I don't think this is a Mr. Frog MVP. I think this is a walking wake MVP for getting rid of Golden Go. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like you said, that turn was mm -hmm. game deciding. Yeah, I think Maggie's 100% right. Celerock hurts, though. Yeah, Goddamn. Nice band. Oh, yeah, Bushy's chat band. Uh. And that will conclude our uh, VOD review. Damn. So here's the thing. What now? We must assign our mod of the week. And uh, I really do want to push. I want to push so badly for Dragon Ball. Because I think Dragon Ball had such a good game. But we all... It's got to be Greninja, right? Like... Yeah, it's Greninja. Then. I, it, I feel like it's... Yeah, it's got to be Greninja. Yeah, I'm sorry. Greninja uh, fits with the monochrome we've set where it showed up and it didn't yeah. leave the board. It just it just slayed everything like, from that point forward. And it did it in Dragon a faster like a succession than Dragon Ball. Because I think also Mega Metacham is had a really fucking good week. But I would say those are the top three, personally. Might be biased, but... I think it's, it's Greninja. I think it's Greninja. Uh, yeah, I think it's Greninja. So, I guess now, on to the roster swaps. We didn't have many, but as you can see, the trade deadline is closed, which means there are no more swaps, no more free agents. All teams are locked. No changes at all. Not Terra types, not Pokemon, not Z Captains, nothing. What you see on here now cannot change. Maybe team names, but like. I think the biggest one to cover right off the bat, just to get it out of the way, is Ellie made a couple of and team I adjustments. Good, but I'm biased because I helped suggest them to them. So, we got three suggestions. Mimikyu, uh, Braviary, and Roserade are out. Aerodactyl, Drapion, and Palosand are in. What do we think? I love Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl being a great little suicide lead, but also has the potential to actually do some damage is always a good thing in my book. Um, Drapion's, Drapion, I find to just be a more effective poison type in general, but most of the time compared to Roserade. I think there are situations where not having the grass type might feel a bit oof, but you have, you have Mega Glade. Just take a leaf <laughs> blade. Um, Hilo Sand is honestly the one that I'm the most 50-50 on, because I sort of feel like, yeah, it's a defensive ghost type, and also gives you the ground type, but as far as I know, Golurk is free, and I kind of would have liked to see free, Golurk a little more here. But I think if you're looking for here. defensive oh. mod, which is like what I think they were looking for, I think Palisand is better for that. Where Golurk is more of like an offensive mod. I do, I do absolutely um, agree. What I'll say as well... Uh, I want to, so I think yeah, Aerodactyl is like a perfect fit. It also just increases their speed tier a bit more, which is like harder to prep for. Or a little bit more like you have to like, you do have to like respect it because it's like, oh, what if Aerodactyl comes now and all my things are out sped and that's cheap. Like Lincoln. Um, other thing to keep in mind, I think the big thing nice thing about Drapion, it gives you a defensive dark type. Because... Mm. It gives you something that can really take, like, ghost hits, which do threaten Mega Glade. Because your current dark type is Greninja. I love Greninja. It's a really strong Pokemon. But it cannot really take ghost It can't really take hits, even ghost type attacks. It's like... Oh, and another great little mention. Um, just using uh, mine and Ellie's battle as an example. Uh, Drapion is a great check into... Um, 
most fairy types while wall maintaining a dark yes. type. I agree. Like this team, I think the biggest loss on the team is losing the fairy typing it did have with uh with Mimikyu. But I think Mimikyu, Roserade, and Roserade were like Pokemon that were struggling on this team, and Braviary barely came. So I think Braviary came for the next battle, and it's like because it's like it's hard to find. Also, in that regard. Uh, the Z Captain has gone from where it was on Braviary to Berserker. I think this is a fine change, just because I think you might find value out of it. Like a Steely. I also think Berserker's just been proving itself every time it's come. I think it's come twice now. Yeah, no, it's come twice. It's I, I feel like it has done value. It came week one and week six, both wins. Hmm. No, but I think it's gotten good value. Also, like, I, like you could potentially run, like, a Steely MZ, like, Steely Spirit Corkscrew Crash, and nothing wants to take that. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, I think, like, having the Fairy type, you do have Terra Fairy Duraludon, which I think is not the worst Fairy type you could have. In all honesty. Yeah. Like, I think, I mean, I also say Duraludon has been one of Ellie's best performing Pokemon. Like, I, th I think ultimately these are all positive changes, and given and how um, things are going for that division, I think it gives people chance for Ellie to properly make I agree. a, a they playoff are now, in honestly. The top three now after, that, after Ven's loss and their win. Uh, they have the differential score right now. Uh, on that regard, we didn't have... So, next change I want to talk about is the change to Parker's team. It's none of these guys, but it's Houndstone's Terra types. We've gone from Ghost Fairy in Ground to Ghost Fairy in Water. This feels just like a, a decent change. Like, not like, oh, it's, it's okay. Like, no, it's a good change. It's a good change. Um, like, flat up, I think it's a good change for defensive Houndstone. I think it's actually quite nice. Um... Uh, Unsure how much use it'll get, because I think Houndstone does actually really like having that ghost type. Yeah. But. I do agree. No, but I you never know what could happen. I agree. There might be, like, some matchups to good for, and I think and, I, I think I talked about you without getting rid of that, like, fire. You become fire neutral with Fluffy, which yeah. I think is nice, because it's, it's like, it's like thick fat mods, like, that are weak to fire and ice. It's like, yeah, just getting that, just getting rid of that weakness is nice to have. Because that's, like, yeah. So the, like the, the downside of Fluffy is gone now by being that Terra Water. And I think that is like really nice to have yeah. actually. It's a good change. Yeah. Um There's definitely going to be like I I feel like there's going to be one instance where it will be good eventually. But I feel like I mean Ghost type denying those rapid spins is just so nice. Um Fairy is just a good it type, is, yeah. I guess, like it never it it never feels bad to Terra Fairy. Um, and since mm. I'm here, I'll also bring up I was I was talking to Julia about it, like I wanted to make change to my teams because I wasn't I was I'm not fucking with Bombardier that much. I've brought it only once and it did it didn't really do anything that battle. And Mammoth Swine. I was thinking of swapping those two out. But I really don't know if there's anything better yeah, in Tier I'll, Four I'll, to pick I'll up. I'll honestly say I think two and four are the hardest tiers to pick out Pokemon in right now. Like, to change, make a change for. I think... Yeah. I mean, I think... Because I think... Uh, the other thing is, like, I think Bombardier's typings, it does bring something with its typings. It has a unique niche, I think. Mm. And I don't know if there's any other Pokemon. Like, because I, I feel like... So, like, I think keeping the... You don't need to keep the ground-type Mammoth Swine because you do have it on Garchomp, but I feel like you want to keep a ground-type... Or you want to keep another Flying-type... And you want to keep a dark type. So, Bombardier, at the very least, it gives you that like, yeah. roll compression of being both of those things. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and I think it's terror types are solid. So, the roll compression is nice. Um, honestly, the, the only thing I see that really I would have considered is like maybe Flamigo. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I would like, really want to keep the dark type. So, then in that case, I think you'd trade out Mammoth Swine for like a tier 2 dark type. 
which yeah, I, yeah, but I, like I that's the difference too. maker. It's how which much you I, value I don't the think dark type. Would have uh, it's really strong. Like stab knockoffs yeah. from something can be fucking disgusting. Um, pranks, prankster mods you can fuck with. You do have like tentacle, which can bait poison moves in. Uh, and so what dark types are left in this yeah. tier? You have Overquill, you have um, Grim There's Snarl. Umbreon. There's also Grim Is Snarl. Just three? Uh, Overquill, Umbreon, Is that actually Grim it? Snarl. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Iron Juculus. Oh. Oh my god. Wait, that might not have been a bad pick. Oh, uh, Zarude too. Yeah. Zarude. Uh, I, I, I would not like Juculus in, um... Parker's team, that that would feel like a negative change because that thing wants to run the hurricane. Does Arcane sun or sand? Accuracy? It does. You, yes, you it told does. me this. No, it doesn't. That's... Only it's sun. <laughs> you Oops. lied to me. <coughs> Oopsies. Excuse me. <laughs> what battle were you running sand for? Oh no no it wasn't and you lied to me when I was helping Storm oh. way back when. Oh then I'm I'm no I had it wrong then as well my bad. Oops. Well because I know like Solar uh, Beam. That, 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 that's no worry because we were we were worried about a Hurricane in Sand or um. Yeah because I know if in Solar Beam it becomes like two turns I think. That's that's always Solar Beam. Oh no, powers have in every other weather. That's why I thought it. That's why I thought it. I thought it was like, oh, it's lowered in every other weather. Um, that, I think gotcha, I gotcha. Uh, Jukilis might not have been bad, but it's like then that's it's kind of like a what do you pick up in tier four, and it's like what do you? And I feel like any. So keep in mind, I don't know if the like Jukilis to Bombardier trade would actually be that much worth it, in all honesty. And in that regard, I feel like whatever you pick up would not give you the same value that Mammoth would. I do agree. I I I think there is low key something that I would have considered, but like I don't think it's a strong change. Like I'm only just like thinking of it right now. If you did get Jugulus, I kind of dig the idea of grabbing Polywrath. Mm. That's like it. I'm not sold on that. Oh no, I I, I just feel I, I just feel okay. it for the water oh, okay, absorb. Okay, okay, okay. Like. Okay, I can see it I in that regard. That yeah. Goal. Okay. Uh, I just, I don't think it'd be a. I mean, you would get Terra Polyrath, which is nice, but like, it's still a Polyrath. I don't know. Not not a good Pokemon. Yeah. I so I think I think your team is perfectly good as is. I don't feel like there really is a change that would have been like. Yeah. And again, I is is Polyrath better than Mamoswine? I don't think so. Because I frankly. Absolutely not. Keeping Mammoth Swine is far more essential in my opinion. I think Jukilis is worse than, bom worse than Bombardier for your team. Mm -hmm. Because I think Bombardier, like, even though you've not brought it that much, it does ha like, it has some, it's really good with its terror types. It has, like, a decent attack. It gets knockoff, it gets Sucker Punch. I think it gets U-Turn as well. It has good pivot. Like, I think it, it gets rocks. Yeah, it gets, yeah, it gets like, it rocks, nice memento, oh, yeah. parting shot. No, it's got some nice taunt. tools. Like, I, <laughs> I think the other, I think the biggest issue with why you haven't been bringing that much, the rest of your team is pretty solid right now. Yeah. I think that's the worst part about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just, yeah, I feel yeah like these were good changes you made. To these were good changes. I wonder who told you that you should make them. Yeah, definitely whoever made the fucking yeah. power They're, rankings. They must be really, like, really smart and hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, oh my god, let's talk about the absolutely bizarre change that Julia threw away her Dragon Ball after its best yeah. perform. I kid, I kid. <laughs> now, that did not now, happen. Let's talk about the other changes. Uh, cause we, do, we have two more. First off is Persian, or Samrat for Persian on Leah's team. And it's still the Sea Captain. Uh, this is regular Persian. I don't really fuck with this, I'll be honest. I mean, to be fair, I didn't fuck with Samurai either. Yeah. It doesn't get parting stuff, so I don't <laughs> like it. No, I don't disagree, but, like, I, it doesn't really vibe with this team, I feel like, as a change. Uh, like, that's that's my big takeaway, is, like, do I really fuck with this? And the answer is no. I think it gives you a bit more speed, but, like, I mean, Norivern's still your fastest Pokemon. 
You make your fighting weakness yeah, even worse. Yeah, because it's like, what? It's like, I mean, this weak to fighting... Oh, no, you only have three fighting weak Pokemon. I think you have a resist immunity, resist... I know, but, like, you're... If, you're going to you're, you're going to have to deal with fighting type coverage no matter what because yeah, you have true. a king gambit. Uh, I'm not sure really what it brings to the team and I, that I don't really vibe with. Uh, I don't I don't know. It's like it's not like a negative move, but like it doesn't feel positive. But does, I don't even know if it's neutral. So maybe it is slightly negative. Actually, actually, no, I think there is a slight positive over Samurai. That's true. It's faster. It's not the U-turn. <laughs> That's positive. Uh, in that in that regard, I think it's fine. Uh, technician boosts and fake outs. And I mean, that does mean you can potentially just, like, you know, Hail Mary, uh, Normalian Z, Double Edge, yeah. and maybe get a kill. It's Persian. It's like, you can technician boost fake out. Uh, that's, like, kind of it, though. Oh, you can nasty plot hyper voice. Don't you get knock <laughs> And I mean, I suppose you get knockoff, so yeah. that's like always nice. I don't know if Samurai know. gets knockoff. Uh, I mean, it's, like, it's it's fast. It has. Let's let's see what it can do. Uh, and last move is on Aurora's team. We have double for Avalug. I think Avalug without Terra is a fake Pokemon. And honestly, if you told <laughs> me that she was going to remove both of these Terras for Terra Avalug as well. I think that would have been a positive trade then. I think it would be. Uh, I think it's a side grade at best. Uh, double's funny, but I don't see a lot of cases where it'd be brought as much as I love it. Uh, but now you've got another rocker slash spinner, which I think is good. It's also just a nice physical wall, even with its it's um, a horrible typing, which is why you Terra it. And, like, you're a better yeah. spinner than no, I agree. Goth. I agree. You have a second spinner, which I think is really good. Um, it does benefit this team. It, it is a slight upgrade. It would have been a massive upgrade with Terra, though. Um, and that's a shame. And that's all of the changes. I guess, before we end off, is there any teams that didn't make changes that you would have liked to have seen make changes? Changes on. So, obviously, uh, Bacon couldn't make any more, because I have a laundry list of changes I'd like to see him make. Uh, oh, hang on, there's a fly on my screen. I think I got it. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I can't think of any. I mean, just looking over, I think Andro's team is pretty solid. Um, I I will say I find it weird that Andro hasn't ever I brought agree. Bramblegast. Like, Free the Bramble. Um, I think Alolan Muck has not been brought as much as it should. Uh, I I honestly, has he brought? I think he's brought Lilin Buck what once. Yeah. And, and um, um yes, yeah, so like when I was making oh, Ellie, Ellie make their changes, I I genuinely thought a Lilin Buck was a free agent for the longest time. And I was like, I was like, oh my god, a Lilin Buck is so good for your team. Let's get a Lilin Buck. And I was like, wait, fuck, a Lilin Buck is taken. That's yeah, so funny. I did the exact same thing with and, Lilin um, I, I on guys team. I sort of think, like, ditch the Terra and Z on Warpeko. Put yeah, it on Surfet. Put the Z on Surfet. I, I agree. Just think that's better. I totally agree. Uh, I would... L I don't know. I, I, I still think Ben's team would have loved not regular... Like, would have loved Ninetales. Just regular Ninetales. Like, over Quagsire or Galvantula. I can uh, over yeah. Quagsire, I feel. Galvantula having sticky webs always means it has a yeah, use. I think Quagsire has yet to really, like, do anything. Uh... I, uh, I won't lie. Um, a bigger thing that I think... I think... I think Ben should have gotten rid of the Zoroark. I agree. But I be think... real. I don't know. This team, I feel like it needs something else that can take a hit, and I think there's definitely... Wait, is Petron? Okay, Petron's tier 1. I was going to say get to tier 2 Petron, but never mind. Petron's tier 1. Uh, in that regard, like, I don't know. I feel like Volcarona has not been the best performer as well. 
Uh, but again, unfortunately, the, the trade deadline is closed. Like nothing can really like be done anymore. Um, but uh, um, but like with that in mind, I do want to just also point out the critique that um, Volker Owner and Moltres Golar want to do the exact same thing. I agree. Uh, yeah, that, this team I feel like has some some issues going on. Um, but she, I'm not surprised. Made no swaps. I think his team's really solid. Ellie, we talked about. Guy, I think, didn't have to make any swaps. Again, when you're 6-0, and oh, you're not making changes. <laughs> if they broke. Yeah. Um, Hannah's team's looking really strong yeah, right now. I think she made some ch made her changes, and she looks really solid now. We'll see how... I mean, it's been one battle, so let's see how what happens. I think Gouging Burger is going to be the big like game changer. I think Jami's team's fine. Yeah. My team's perfect. I was looking at changes, but just, like, any time I made changes, I just, I really didn't feel confident in them, you know? I don't, uh, I don't know. I know that you were talking to me about, like, swapping Pidgeot yeah. for Mega Agron, and honestly, some part of me felt that just that alone The issue is then, my only ground honestly. versus slash immunity is Rotom Frost. And that was the big, like... Yeah, no, I don't. I don't know if I fuck with that now. Yeah, I do understand that, but I think honestly, when it's like, I don't know. I think you could have like, gotten away really, with it. And it's like my really, like really physically focused now. It's like, and I don't. I I think the big thing about Dragon Ball is its versatility. I, it's like I don't know if I vibe with it per se. Uh, we'll see though. We'll see. Maybe I'm making the wrong. I made the wrong. Decision. Yeah, yeah. Leah, I think. For used all of her free agent points. I'm not surprised. Again, 6-0 if it ain't broke. You had one. I think you said you're considering using. What was this swap? I know it's triagonal, right? I really wanted to get rid of triagonal. Um, I, I did I did message Leah to see if I could get the trade for Cryogonal for Delmize, but logically yeah. they did not take it. And I think that was the right move on that part. They don't. They they, they should have not no, given up Delmize. That would have been lovely for you, but like, uh, part of me should have like. Yeah, that was that's such a bad trade um, for them. I'm somewhat kicking myself that I didn't try to ask Andro for um. Bramble. Oh for yeah. Bramble gas because I think I Loki could have maybe gotten that, but like at the same time, I'm I'm fine. I think my team's in such a solid position. Like, I all—I won't lie. I almost swapped out Agron for Executor on a whim, and I'm so glad I didn't do that. I think Agron's going to keep proving Agron's itself. Solid. Uh, I, I know Nate was like saying they're they're considering they're as crafty. I think both those tier fours could have been swapped out for like anything. Uh, just I think both these tier fours are kind of useless right now on this team. Like. The tier, f the tier fives have gotten more use than them. Actually, these are probably some of the most solid tier fives, um, especially Armaldo. Armaldo has been having a season, right? Like, Armaldo. I, I think it's crazy. well. I mean, it's, his, it's really his like only or their only like stealth rocker. But even then, it's been doing its job yeah. really well. It feels like. Uh, we talked about your team. Foe's team, I think, is really solid. I knew that Hisui and Coalfish swap. What was the what was there originally? Copraja. Yeah, I think that's a good swap. Uh, I just I don't see any really good. You have a better Steel type elephant already on the team. It. Yeah, and like you, you're already yeah. like five and one. Uh, Who cares? I think he had two swaps left. I don't know. I feel like his team is fine right now. Um, obviously, like, the new stuff didn't really get to prove itself, because, oopsies. Uh, only thing I can really see in swapping is maybe, like, Hypno. I think Flareon is fine to keep. Hypno could have been swapped for something else, depends on what you really want, though. But I think even Hypno has, like, value as, like, a special wall. If, like, depending on matchups, if you don't want to bring Jellison. Yeah, it even, like, somewhat proved I itself agree. in the Hannah yeah, matchup. no, so I think it can absolutely do fucking, fucking do things. Um... I think Evan, I did not expect any swaps from him because he basically just made his own team again. Uh, I don't think he needs to, though, this team again. I fuck with this team so much. I would use this team. Slaps. Aurora made a swap. Uh, again, I would like to do that Terra swap. Uh, th that would have been all they could have done. Actually, no, wait. No, yeah, yeah. Cause take, without swap getting a Terra captain, it would have cost a point. But 
Violet, I'm surprised, didn't make any swaps, I will say. Uh, again, I feel like Verizon is just, just, like, useless. You've not brought Rotom Fan yet. And, like, Heracross and Arcanine and Sui, I just, I don't think are that good when you have Jump Out. I think they feel kind of redundant. Especially the Heracross. Honestly, I think the real problem for Violet is the situation in where if you did grab anything from Tier 4, you would want it to be Hazard Removal, and the only one left, I think, is Avalog Hisui. That's a great on a snow team. Uh, I don't believe I mean, in it. You I'll quit Terra. Terra. If you're getting rid of Heracross, you get... You get um, you is get... it... Uh, no, you have to give up Terra Heracross, which I think is yeah, but like it's not being brought. So I think Terra Avalon, which is really really strong, would be better than a good Terra that's not being brought because you have Chen Pao that does his job better, or is doing his job better currently. I also think uh, I also think um, the real thing that should have been considered swap wise is um, booting off Arcanine. No, I love that Mon, but. I think with it, yeah, it's competing no. with Chen Pao. Like, both Heracross and, Ch and Arcanine, you want them to be like a fast physical or like set up a set up physical attacker? Chen Pao's right there. Ch and obviously you're going to bring Chen Pao. Um, and you're not... Although maybe... Maybe you could have wanted this guy? Like, I really fuck with this dude. I really fuck with this dude. I still can't believe no one drafted... The unbanned, unnerfed, unrestricted Backscalibur. What the fuck are people doing? We had both... We had all snow setters drafted at one point, but no one drafted Backscalibur. Like, what were we doing, people? Listen, I, I, I have... They were, they were just too scared of uh, the, the strong fighting types, obviously. <sighs> yep. Uh... And Zach should have made like a million chain. Uh, Zach only had two free agent points, but like I think, get rid of this thing. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. It's so bad. Get rid of it and get rid of like Wellspring or Iron Moth because like I think they are really struggling. I think Iron Moth is the Pokemon that to me it feels like it's been hurt the most by the lack of uh, booster energy for tier ones. No booster hurts it so much, and not. I'm I'm sorry. Like, I think with the fact that Coco was no longer available, it's... Uh, it, it, I, I said it before in another review, I believe. Churchin was actually worth considering. <sighs> it's tier 4. I mean, maybe. What, over Archaeops, actually, yeah. And I, no, I, I know we... I, I know that thing is also I mean, just like, not a real Pokemon, already, but like... If you have at least one fake Pokemon, so you'd be swapping a fake Pokemon for a fake Pokemon. And you could even grab something like... Yeah, overwhelming. I feel like, grab, like at least then, you're getting terrain to enable fucking... Enabling I am mean, seems like a bigger like, priority for this team. I don't know. In church in. So like, that could be like a good low combo. I don't know. Uh, I think that would have been what I would have done. It's like, I don't know, it feels like both those tier 2s on Zach's team just feel fake. Like, both these Pokemon feel fake. Yeah, and it's not a good, it's not a good thing in, in when some of your higher mm -hmm. tiers just well, feel fake. I guess I'll wrap it up. We got three weeks left till playoffs. Uh, they'll probably, and uh, yeah, so I guess we'll see you back next week with uh, week 7.